This small but charming country is known for its vibrant wildlife, including the iconic forest elephants and lowland gorillas that roam freely in its national parks. Welcome to Opentiera. Today we are looking at the Central African country of Gabon. The country is nestled in Central Africa and captivates with its lush rainforests, diverse wildlife, vibrant culture and flavorful culinary heritage. Gabon is located on the west coast of Central Africa, bordering the Atlantic Ocean. It lies just north of the equator, between the Republic of the Congo to the south and east, Equatorial Guinea to the northwest and Cameroon to the north. The country has a total area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers. Gabon is characterized by coastal plains with estuaries and mangroves along the coast. Further inland lie forested plateaus and mountains, the highest of which is Monte Bungi at 1,575 meters above sea level. The country contains about 85% forested land, including significant areas of tropical rainforest. Gabon has abundant natural resources, especially oil and tropical timber. Oil was discovered offshore in the 1970s and now accounts for about 80% of its exports. The country is the fifth largest oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa. A long time ago, the land was home to pygmies and then came the Bantu groups like the Fang. Europeans started coming to the coast around the 15th century and things began to change. In the 1700s and 1800s, powerful Fang leaders emerged, but soon after the French arrived and slowly took control. By 1910, Gabon had become part of French Equatorial Africa and the local people, especially the Fang, didn't like being ruled by outsiders. In 1960, Gabon finally gained independence. President Léon Maba led the way, but he set up a government where only one party was allowed and it was close to France. Then something big happened in the 1970s. Oil was found and it completely changed the country's economy. After Maba, Omar Bongo became the leader. He tried to have more political parties in 1990, but he still held a lot of power until he passed away in 2009. Omar Bongo is known for being one of the longest serving leaders in the world, staying in power for over four decades, which is a long time for someone who isn't royalty. His son, Ali Bongo, became president after some controversial elections in 2009 and 2016. Today, Gabon is still figuring things out. Even though it has a lot of oil, not everyone benefits the same way. There are some rich areas, but also many people who don't have enough. Its history has many parts, and it's still trying to build a stable and better future for everyone. Gabon is home to a diversity of ethnic groups. The largest group is the Fang, comprising around one-third of the total population. Other major ethnic groups include the Bateke, Nzebi, Obamba and Kota. There are also indigenous pygmy populations such as the Babongo. While French serves as the official language in Gabon, there are around 30 local African languages spoken corresponding to the various ethnic groups. These include Fang, Mieni, Bateke and several others. Gabon is predominantly Christian, with 75 to 95 percent of the population identifying as such. Both Roman Catholic and Protestant denominations have a strong presence. However, many Gabonese still practice indigenous animist beliefs, representing a significant minority in the country. The remainder of the population is comprised of a small but growing community of Muslims. Gabon is endowed with abundant natural resources, most notably oil and timber, which drive its economy and give it one of the highest GDP per capita in sub-Saharan Africa. Its economy is heavily dependent on oil, which was discovered offshore in the 1970s. 
Oil now accounts for about 80% of exports and 45% of its $20 billion GDP. Gabon produces over 200,000 barrels of oil per day, making it the fifth largest oil producer south of the Sahara. However, oil production and revenues have declined in recent years due to falling output and prices. The Gabonese government is attempting to diversify the economy and reduce dependence on oil. Despite its natural resource wealth, income inequality remains extremely high in Gabon. While GDP per capita stands at over $8,000, more than six times greater than most sub-Saharan nations, over a third of Gabon's population lives on less than $2 a day. Public infrastructure and social services are underdeveloped in many regions. Despite its small size, Gabon plays an influential role in Central African geopolitics thanks to its coastal location, resource wealth and regional engagements. Situated on the Atlantic coast, Gabon provides valued access to Atlantic maritime routes and borders regional powers like Cameroon and the Republic of Congo. The majority of the country consists of tropical rainforests, rich in timber and minerals like manganese, iron ore and oil. Oil exports in particular drive Gabon's economy and provide the country with geopolitical leverage. Gabon's extensive natural resources have attracted major investment from foreign companies, especially in the mining and oil sectors. French troops are stationed in Gabon to help maintain stability. However, relations with its neighbor Equatorial Guinea have been strained over border disputes. Moving forward, experts expect the country to continue leveraging its natural resources for regional influence. At the same time, instability in neighboring countries could potentially spill over into Gabon. Gabonese culture reflects the diversity of the over 40 ethnic groups comprising the country's population. Traditional customs and rituals play an important role in day-to-day -day life. Masks and initiation ceremonies are integral for groups like the Fang, Kota and Sogo peoples. Colorful mask dances such as the Obere and Mbembe are performed during ceremonies and retell ancient legends. Gabonese art also draws heavily on tradition, as seen in relics like the ancient Ndambomo mask, while modern painters like Aida Touré have gained acclaim nationally and abroad. Gabonese artisans produce handicrafts such as textiles, baskets and musical instruments retaining traditional designs. In literature, poet Georges Rawiri is an influential figure who has helped define a distinctly Gabonese literary voice. Contemporary figures like soccer star Pierre Aubameyang enjoy fame as national heroes. Let's embark on a flavorful journey through Gabonese cuisine, discovering the dishes that form the heart of their culinary traditions. From hearty stews to savory seafood creations, Gabon's food reflects a vibrant blend of local flavors and ingredients. Nkumu Ofula is a hearty peanut-based stew that gets its reddish color from palm nut oil and crushed nuts. It typically contains meat or fish, along with vegetables like spinach, okra, and hot peppers. The stew is served over rice or boiled cassava. It's a staple dish in Gabon. Cassava leaves, known as fouille de manioc, are used in various Gabonese dishes. The leaves can be cooked into stews in a similar way to spinach. They can also be wrapped around fish before baking or steaming. Cassava leaves are sometimes fermented into a condiment called embouilli. The leaves provide a nutritious green element to Gabonese cooking. Sukute is a popular baked fish dish. Whole fish is seasoned with tomatoes, garlic, onions and spices before being wrapped in banana leaves and baked. Sukute highlights the influence of fresh seafood in Gabonese cuisine. If you enjoyed this video on Gabon, 
you'll love this next one.